Imagine this. He's on the phone. Can't believe he's on the phone. Him on the phone with Brother John. Brother wool John. Wine. How What's about going that on, man? Brother John? We're going to be riding in a wool wine truck. Yeah, buddy. The black one, no less. All right, we got a good show going this week, y'all. We headed to Arkansas. Video Joe. We got everything ready, and me and Brooke hitting the road. Trailer was kind of light going up there. It wasn't loaded steel pool good. Bro, he's hooking us up. We had a good reason to be taken. We had a big one of them big bags of rice brands that we're gonna bring back home. We're gonna kill some deer? We own them. We own them, huh? And we're gonna get a suntan while we're doing it? I guess so. It's gonna be 90, our swimsuit yeah, 96 tomorrow. But Sunday, it's gonna rain less than a tenth. Says supposed to drop like 15, 20 degrees. Supposed to be in the 50s. Supposed to be in the 50s. So Monday and Tuesday be fire. We'll probably kill tomorrow though. I hope you're right. One person is right. I like the way Joe's talking for sure. We got a good night's sleep after making our trip up to Arkansas, and we're gonna get out in the yard. And we're gonna do a little bow shoot. in there where I'm a little lower than I want to be but <laughs> I hit the target. He hit the target. I hit the target. Y'all know how that makes me feel. We all at least hit the target, so no, we hitting the target. We ain't that bad off. We hitting the target. That means we can hit a deer. <laughs> we Somewhere. may kill something. Somewhere. Alright let's let's move up to where I shoot from. Right, we go over this hero stuff. Let's move up well, I, moved, I forgot to tell you, I moved your stand. Oh, gosh. You didn't move my stand. You might have moved yours. <laughs> you didn't move my stand. Yo, I know better than that. Uh, uh, maybe no. I should have tried somebody else. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you may have a 35 yard shot now this year. Oh, Unless God. you took a track hoe in there to move it off that Yeah, yeah. yeah it, that thing is. Millennium makes the best thing. That thing heavy, brother. Yeah, Lee. It's hard to put up that too, man. color I want. That V3X, it's a bad 29 inches. I like the 27, but the 29 is different. The gate too. We opening the gate for the first time. And it's good to be back. Get ready to go sling an arrow. Right. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Okay. Who moved this? Joe, did you move this? And now it's time to head to the woods. Joe's got us all set up, made sure our stands were good, and got some deer coming in. This this early season, we ain't real bad to do the morning hunting. Them deer's in about daylight. You have to go in at three o'clock in the morning. And I don't know, it just seems like it works out better to do the evening hunts.
All right, we're going to start the show out this week with Brother Joe on his first hunt of the year. Opening day posting. It is 96 degrees. I am sweating. I got stubs and Brooke dropped off at their stand. Anyways, we've got several deer showing up in daylight still. Uh, where I'm on that, Brooke's on my stand. Stubbs is only his. Where I'm on that, it's been a lot of pigs. Some deer too, but uh, our main objective is to shoot small. And I started out on my favorite stand as always. It may not be the best stand in Arkansas, but it's the best one for me. It's sitting right on the edge of the creek. There's ducks feeding up and down all day long. There's plenty of deer crossing. It's just the finest setting that I've ever been on. I just love my stand. bucks coming in. Joe, of course, is running the cameras. There's bucks coming in. But this day, we ain't seeing a lot of bucks. We're seeing a bunch of does. First evening, I've got high hopes. I'm on Joe's favorite stand, the river stand. thing that came out in front of the stand was a spike and he hung around till dark and then that was it. It's uh, down in the 80s. We had a front blow through last night, dropped about an inch of rain, which we had had a rain here a long time. Dropped down from 98 to I think it's like 
85 right now, so supposed to get down to the 50s tonight, so tomorrow morning and all day tomorrow should be really, really good. We just need a deer move where in the right spot. So we're going to head back, get quiet, get these Matthews ready. All right, the first day we hunted, early season, I decided I wasn't going to shoot a doe. Bunch of does around and just said, no, I'm waiting on a buck. Now, the second day, that's a different story. Second evening here in Arkansas. Look at my Matthew hanging in his cover of the ceiling. It's at least in the 80s when we walk in. Still, don't move, deer coming in, and they just one old mean doe. Keep running everything out. And I said, when you get just right, old gal, you're gonna be the first back straps of the year. Opportunity. Matthew Rip. All right, y'all stop what you're doing right now. Go check out the YouTube channel. Give us a subscribe, like, and comment. That sure will help us out. Riding in here to get stuff. We can see what he's done. Well, at least he's at the bottom of the tree this time. Well, you bought to get him. Well, you know it. We killed, well, you killed, yeah. killed the heck out of him with some, some mosquitoes. If you look to your left. You'll to our right? Oh, it'll be your right. Yeah, my left. You'll see a lighted luminosity. Stuff. That dead gum stuff. What have you done, son? Well, I'll just tell you like this. We can eat back straps. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, Is it a spike? 
No, it, <laughs> it's, it's much better than a spike. I'll just go ahead and tell you. A big old buck. Good, good luck. I imagine if you had her ears spread out like that, <laughs> it'd be 16 inches between them if you went tip for tip. That is a hammer. That's a big doe. It ain't no little doe. That's a hammer. Now, this doe come in, and I've met this doe before. And she come <laughs> in. Is Sheila? <laughs> yeah, she come in, and she was angry at every all the other doe. And I think that's why there ain't no bucks coming, because she ruled the roost. I think I'm going to go ahead and break the ice. And get this mean old heifer right here. We're letting no fawns eat. We're letting that just, just plump contrary. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud of you. I toes. think you did the right thing. You think I did? I think you did. Well, yeah, get rid of them bully does sometimes. Yeah, I had to, I had to make a call, eh? Dang it, son! That's what you want to see right there. Bloody tip to tip. All right, which way she go? Uh, she's right there. This little gal didn't go far. They saw it didn't. Ah, what a big old doe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got a... She's got a... Just an inch or two back for a shooting butt. Heck, that's down. It smoked her anyhow. 40 yards and she's down. So you can't do no better than that, I don't guess. Nah, that's the way you want it. That's the way you want it. So... Back first back strap of the year. Old long headed old doe, no yearling. Waited for probably an hour to make sure she didn't have a yearling with her. She didn't have a yearling. Uh, so I give it a good long wait. Several more does come in with yearlings. And that old rascal pulled one of them yearlings in the head. Uh, you know that just ain't right. I better I better do a little herd thinning here. So uh, went ahead and took her out. And uh, now it'll be just some good eating. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Start well, to I another just, fine season? Just start of, of his yeah. new season with the real sale, boy. Yeah, that's what you want to do right there. Just get it. Just break go ahead and break the ice. Now we're going to kill them. Now we can get a buck. Just, just get them. Joe seen some bucks, young bucks, but I will guarantee you one thing. Maybe the next episode you'll see a November run, and it's going to pick up then. This is evening number three. It's been a uh, kind of a rough go at it. We had not seen a lot of bucks. Joe's been seeing some bucks on a certain stand that he's been hunting for the last two days. And uh, he's gonna put me on that stand, let me hunt it this evening. He's gonna head up on a, a hill stand where I killed last year. Scout it out and see what's coming in there. Uh, somebody stole our freaking camera. They're going to go up there, put up a new camera, uh, get him set up to hunt this evening and scout it out. We need a buck to come in and give us a shot this evening. They have changed their patterns. So we're just trying to see what they're doing and try to get on them. We go home in the morning, so fingers crossed we get them at night. Sure enough, to start off with, had some does come right under the stand. It wasn't long till I look up the ditch, and here comes the bucks.
they get in close enough where I can get a good look at them. I mean, there's some good looking bucks, but just not something I want to shoot at this time in the hunt. It's early, it's opening weekend of bow season, so these guys got the pass. Man, you don't have to kill a deer to have a good time hunting in Arkansas. Can't wait to get up here in November for rifle season, the rut's gonna be on and the bucks are going to be cruising. Be thought, boy. Y'all get them. Give God praise. Now let's go where the real deer are. <laughs> Stubbs don't know there's no deer on his thing. They're all on my brook's thing. Should be laying right up there about 40 yards. Dang it, boy. It's going to go down. I thought I hit her just a little back, but I think I need to hit the next one just a little back. <laughs> <laughs> that mega meat. That mega, that mega meat. meat. You got it.